What's up you guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to set up your PPA20 preamp. This is the perfect preamp for any DJ setups, home theater systems, and much more. Now the PPA20 is one U rack mountable, meaning you can line up the two holes here on each side of the unit to a rack mount or rack bag, and set it into place by using two screws on each side to lock it in place. Now we have two sets of RCA outputs that we can use to send the preamp to an external device. And we also have left and right XLR outputs that we can use to connect to speakers or send the audio coming out of the preamp to an external device like a power amp or a receiver. So first let me show you how to connect powered speakers to the preamp. All right, so here are my two powered speakers that I'm going to use with my preamp. Now before we make any connections, we'll want to be sure to start with the line level knobs and the master volume knobs on our speaker turned all the way down to avoid any unwanted noise or feedback. So to connect my preamp to my powered speakers, I'm going to need two XLR cables. I'm going to take the female ends of my XLR cables and plug them into the XLR outputs on the back of the preamp. Then I'm going to take the male ends and plug them into the XLR line inputs on the back of our speakers. So now I can go ahead and turn on my preamp. So now that I've got my speakers set up, I'm going to test the preamp using a microphone. And to connect the microphone to the preamp, I'll need an XLR to quarter inch cable. I'm going to take the XLR end and plug that into my microphone. Then I'll take the other end and plug that into the quarter inch microphone input on my preamp. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the line and main volume knobs on the back of my speakers. Then I can go ahead and turn up the microphone volume knob on the front of the preamp and the main volume knob on my preamp. So now if I turn on my microphone, you should be able to hear me coming out of the speakers. So now let me take you through the front of the preamp to show you its features. So as I showed you guys before, we can adjust the volume of our microphone using the mic volume knob here. The PPA20 also comes with a three band EQ that we can use to really dial in our sound. Starting with the bass knob here, I would use this knob to adjust my low end frequencies coming out of the preamp. So as I raise the bass knob, you'll notice more low end coming through the speakers. And if I dial it all the way back, you'll notice no low end coming out at all. Next, we have the mid knob here that I would use for my mid range frequencies. So if I raise the mid knob here, you'll notice more presence coming out of my voice. And if I lower the knob, you'll notice less body coming out of the speakers and lastly I have the treble knob here that I would use to adjust all of my high-end frequencies so if I raise that you'll notice more high-end coming through to my sound and if I lower it you'll notice no high-end coming out at all we also have this balance knob here that we can use to adjust the stereo image coming from the preamp so for example if I turn it all the way to the left my voice will only come out of the left speaker and if I turn it all the way to the right my voice will only come out of the right speaker and if I set it to the middle you'll hear that my voice comes out of both speakers evenly. And again, we have this volume knob here to adjust the overall volume coming from our preamp. So now let's move on to the buttons on the front of the preamp. Starting with this mono button here, this will take the signals coming out of the left or right speaker and blend them together for a monophonic sound. This would be useful when listening to older records because it'll actually take out some of that rumble and hiss that you might hear when listening to them. And you'll know it's set to mono mode when you see the button on top lit up. Next we have the mute button which will bring anything coming out of the preamp down to about 20 dB, except for our microphone. Then we have the low cut button here that acts as a high pass filter and will bring down any low frequencies coming out of the preamp. And lastly, we have the loudness button here that will bring up the treble and bass response of anything coming out of the preamp. Now there are many different ways we can input into the PPA20 for different applications, but the great thing is we can plug in multiple sources at a time and pick which one we want to hear from by using the input selection select switch. So for example, we have the Fano RCA input on the back of the PPA20 that would be great to use for any turntables. And we have five different aux channels that we can use to connect anything with an RCA output. So for any of these connections, you would want to use an RCA cable or even an RCA to aux cable to connect any external device into the PPA20. Then, like I mentioned before, you can select which one you want to hear from by using this selector knob here. Now you can choose if you want to hear from aux 4 or aux 5 by using this button here. When you have it unselected like this, you'll hear from aux 4 and you'll know you're on the aux 5 source when you see this button light up. 
And like I mentioned before, you can pick which source you want to hear from by using the input select knob. So as I mentioned before, we can use a power amp if we want to hear the PPA20 with a couple of passive speakers. So let me show you how to do that next. All right, so now I have my RPA5 power amplifier and two passive speakers that I'm going to use with my PPA20. Now to connect my PPA20 to my power amp, I'm going to need two XLR cables. I'm going to take the female ends and plug them into the XLR output on the back of the PPA20. Then I'll take the other end and plug them into the XLR inputs on my power amp. So now to hear everything all together, I'm going to connect my speakers to my power amp using speak on cables. So now I can go ahead and turn on the PPA20. Then I'll go ahead and turn on my power amp. Then I'm going to want to raise the volume knobs here on my power amp. Now I can raise the volume on my PPA20. And now to test out the whole system, I'm going to use my smartphone that's connected to aux channel 1 on my preamp. So let's hear how it sounds with the whole system all together. <laughs> Now this is a really good setup for DJs who want more control of their sound and want to use passive speakers with the PPA20. So as I mentioned before, the PPA20 is also really good for home theater setups. So let me show you how to set that up next. All right, so here I have my blue tube amplifier along with two passive speakers that I'm going to use with my PPA20. So for this setup, I'm going to need a RCA cable. I'm gonna take one end and plug that into the RCA output on the back of the PPA20. Then I'm gonna take the other end and plug that into the RCA aux input on the back of the amp. Now to hear the preamp through the blue tube, I'm gonna to wanna to take this input selector and switch it to the aux position. And now since I have my smartphone connected to the aux one on my PPA20, I'm just gonna to wanna to set the input selection to aux one. Then I'm gonna to wanna to raise the volume on my PPA20 and I'll wanna raise the volume on my Bluetooth as well. So let's hear how it sounds with the whole setup. Nice. You really hear the warmth coming from the Bluetooth with the PPA20 as well. Very nice. Now this is a perfect setup if you want to have more control over your sound while using your home theater system. So I hope this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your PPA20 preamp. However, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always guys, I'm Perry from Rockville, and I'll see you next time.